today. Remember, if you see an underground abomination, end their miserable existence. Today, you're helping Alex do some grocery shopping. She leads the way to Home Depot as you read her shopping list. Wooden planks, chain, rope, pliers, baseball bats, cyanide, and chloroform. You ask Alex if she expects to find everything on the list at Home Depot, and Alex laughs in response. Of course! You don't remember, but you always help me do shopping like this. One gal can't be expected to carry all this by herself, you know. It does appear to be a lot. She finds a section filled with baseball bats of all sizes, colors, and types. Alex examines each one thoughtfully, rubbing her hand over the polished finish of the bats. I used to play softball, and I still love using baseball bats for things. They can be used to do more than just hit a ball, of course. She selects a wooden bat, light blonde in color, and steadies it over her shoulder. She gives it a practice spin, so forceful you can feel the wind push past your foot. Perfect! She strokes a metal bat, her fingers facing the company logo. The hardest part is stopping myself from getting too many. But of course, we both know I'd go broke if I bought every pretty bat I saw. You ask why she needs multiple bats. <laughs> Are you finding everything all right, miss? An employee with an orange Home Depot apron smiles at you both. You can see Alex's eyes curl up and down his body. Yes, of course. Well, let me know if I can assist you. Oh, we will. Uh, Alex's grin seems to be a little wider than usual, and she watches as he walks away. He's cute. My Gerald's better, of course. Brown hair instead of blonde with blue eyes. Oh, but I do love boys that are taller than me. Before you can respond, she grabs your arm and leads you to another aisle, past displays of brightly colored ropes. Now everyone gets down on natural fiber ropes because they're weaker than nylons or synthetics, but you know fiber rope is really the best. You don't get someone slipping their hands out of natural fiber rope after all, not like nylon. If you want someone secure, I always say go with natural fiber. It's so rough and abrasive that they always do more damage to themselves than the rope. You ask Alex who she needs to secure, but she only laughs again. <laughs> you know. You still don't know. Alex navigates the store with ease. She has been here many times before, and she's familiar with the layout and floor plan. When she has everything on her list, however, she takes an unexpected turn. Rather than heading to the checkout aisles and leaving, she goes towards the center of the store. Come on, Slowpoke! This is the best part of shopping here! You follow her towards the depths of the store, until you see it. There is a deep, cavernous pit in the middle of the store. A gladiator, you know. There are people in there, all of them holding what look like miscellaneous Home Depot merchandise. One person is beating someone else over the head with a long 2 by 4 Someone else uses a garden trowel to stab their home. Oh great, they haven't brought out the cashier yet! You ask her what's happening. This is how people get hired here, dummy. It's a death match. The person who uses their tools best wins! Alex cheers as one man strangles another to the length of chain. There are already several corpses scattered about the arena, and blood staining the pit everywhere. Not one of the gladiators has a conventional weapon. All of them are using something found on Home Depot shelves. Wait right here. I'm placing my bed on Garden Trowel, dude. The man is short and lean, but he has a determined gleam in his eye. He keeps his back close to the edges of the arena, ensuring that no one can sneak up on him or surround him. Everyone else is wasting their energy, waving around big old things that they really don't know how to use. But him? He's efficient. Alex disappears in the crowd surrounding the area. People around you are cheering on the warriors, and you can see the papers in their hands. Betting stubs. You catch sight of Alex making her way towards the table. A display above it showing the projected odds. Alex's choice is an underdog, at 23 to 1 odds against his winning. The action in the arena itself is hard to follow. There are skirmishes happening all around the arena simultaneously. 
and trying to take them all in without focusing on one warrior at a time is difficult. You decide to keep your eye on Alice's tricks. Garden trowel guy. I didn't miss it, did I? <sighs> come on, come on, one more! Soon, one more person is slain, and you realize that there are only five people still standing in the arena. Alex cheered along with the rest of the crowd as a big, monstrous creature bounds into the arena. You have seen this before. This hulking black monster oozing viscous fluid with a chain around its neck. It gives a horrifying roar and pounces on the nearest person, ripping their arm off their torso with a single punch. When there's only five people left, they let in the cashier. You look towards the checkout aisles, and you can see more of them. Panting, snarling, oozing at regular intervals, shoving merchandise into plastic bags, and swallowing money whole in their gaping maws. The monster inside the arena is a cashier. This is the best part! Kick his butt, garden trowel, dude! I bet good money on you! You can do it! You ask why the hiring process is a battle to the death. Duh, because whoever uses the tools best knows their stuff the best. They only bother hiring the best. I've been meaning to apply myself, but you know how it is. Finding the time for a 25-person death match just takes so long. I mean, who has that time, right? The fight, as she says, continues for a surprisingly long time. The cashier is relentless, however, and finally, the chain wielder dies with a long spear of agony. The employee from before smiles at both of you and hands Alex a coupon. Congratulations! You want to buy one, get one free special on fertilizer! Not What She Seems was written by Savannah Hernandez and Natalie Kim and produced by Geometric Mistakes. The narrator was voiced by Natalie Kim. Little Sister is voiced by Savannah Hernandez. Alex is voiced by Music Master. The Man on the Intercom is voiced by George Zhang. And the Home Depot employee is voiced by special guest Brett Fisher. If you like what we do, please subscribe and support us on Patreon.